Am I the asshole for letting my daughter call out, correct her aunt? My daughter, 5, and my niece, 5, are in the same class at school. A couple of weeks ago my sister and niece joined us for ice cream and my sister brought up all the dumb names these kids in class have, and two of the kids she mocked specially were, boy, girl, twins my daughter befriended. My sister said it was tragic how two parents could get twins and give them such ridiculous and awful names and that they're sure to be in a world of hurt eventually. My daughter told my sister the twins are her friends and that my sister wasn't being nice. She told my sister she'd be sent to the thinking chair if she said that out loud. Then she told her she should say sorry for being mean. My sister looked at me and expected me to say something. I backed my daughter though and told my sister she was being very unkind and judgy. My sister said I still shouldn't let my daughter do that. That five-year-olds don't get to call out or correct adults. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You have a very smart five-year-old. She stood up for herself and her friends, and you backing her up is showing her that standing up for herself is a good thing. She didn't have to call out your sister if she didn't act like a child herself. I think you're a great parent. That five-year-olds don't get to call out or correct adults. Of course they get to do that. Your sister was clearly in the wrong. And as your daughter said, she wasn't being nice. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. There are many adults who need a thinking chair. What a great idea. So glad your daughter felt safe to advocate for herself and friends. Kudos to you mom for supporting her. My sister said it was tragic how two parents could get twins and give them such ridiculous and awful names and that they're sure to be in a world of hurt eventually. My daughter told my sister the twins are her friends and that my sister wasn't being nice. She told my sister she'd be sent to the thinking chair if she said that out loud. Then she told her she should say sorry for being mean. My sister looked at me and expected me to say something. I backed my daughter though and told my sister she was being very unkind and judgy. My sister said I still shouldn't let my daughter do that. That five-year-olds don't get to call out or correct adults. When a five-year-old is acting more mature than the adult, they get to call them out. Not the asshole. Not the asshole out of the mouths of babes. The truth is the truth no matter the source. And the kids spoke the truth, so your sister is wrong. What better, then do better. In ta, please don't stop teaching your daughter that she has a voice and encourage her to use it. Am I the asshole for telling my husband correct information about a croissant? I, 38, brought my husband, 45, home a chocolate croissant. I told him, I got you a chocolate croissant, when he looked in the bag he said, I thought you said you got a chocolate croissant? This isn't a croissant. I told him that's what the bakery and many people call a chocolate croissant and he could google to confirm. He said, a croissant is a specific shape. This is not a croissant. I googled, chocolate croissant, and showed him that what he had in front of him was considered a croissant. He then became very angry, yelling and accusing me of, always having to be right. He said that his criticism was about the croissant and not me, and the fact that I had to, prove him wrong, was a deep failing in me and that I'm, just like my father, I told him in no way did I take anything personally, and I didn't want to prove him wrong, just share information about what is considered a croissant, as he was so firmly against the information I told him. This ended in him yelling more, storming off and closing the door to our bedroom. Nothing inside me wants to prove him wrong also if he didn't consider it a croissant, even though others may, that's fine. On my side, I know having someone say, well actually, must be annoying sometimes. I could have just ignored him and let him believe whatever he wants, who really cares what he believes a croissant is. But I am someone who likes facts and sharing opinions, and I am happy to be wrong and learn something new. Am I wrong to assume his response would be, oh, cool, I didn't know that, instead of lashing out and accusing me of needing to be right? Am I the asshole for sharing correct information about a croissant? You're not the asshole. The appropriate response to, I got you a chocolate croissant, is, awesome, thank you. Not a lecture about semantics. He then became very angry, yelling and accusing me of, always having to be right. Wow, what an overreaction. He's the one who insisted upon correcting your words. Is he the only one permitted to correct people? Not the asshole. But as a person living in a country where pastries are taken very seriously, for me and many people a croissant is a specific buttery flaky crescent moon shaped goodness haha. And what you refer to as chocolate croissant must be a pan au chocolat. That technicality aside, I don't see why that reaction though, he could have just said, thank you so much for thinking about bringing me this delicious treat, to me to, to monta right? Doesn't matter how you call it, it's delicious. I would have told him you are right and then eaten the pastry right in front of him and said next time I will get you a real croissant and not a fake chocolate croissant. He says you need to prove him wrong yet he spent all this time trying to prove you wrong. So apparently you both have issues with always having to be right and this is just something you two need to work on. In ta, 
but you and your husband need to have better communication skills if this is how you talk about something as simple as a croissant. Info. Did you in fact get him a pan au chocolat? Not the asshole. This fight started because he had to correct you. You did something nice for him and he was like, well actually it's a not a croissant. Why is it okay for him but not for you? Sounds like he just wanted to put you down and expected you to be like OMG I'm so stupid. This is funny but also sad. Now I am in the mood for a chocolate croissant, the only true croissant. This is not about the shape of that delicious pastry, this is about your communication issues. Your significant other was being a butthole but if he was tired of being corrected all the time maybe he had a point. But yelling and slamming doors is not a good look. You need to talk this out, but that should have been done well before you got married. Not the asshole, probably. Am I the asshole for asking my roommate to flush her toilet paper and disrespecting her culture? Edit. Thank you to all of you who have responded. I am going to have another conversation with her about this issue and try to be less confrontational. For those accusing me of making this up, I wish I was. I can't say I blame you though, if I read a post this insane I would probably think the same thing. Unfortunately, this is something very real that I am dealing with and I was simply looking for some guidance. To give some backstory, I, 19F, white, have been living with my college roommate, 19F, Hispanic, for the past two years. Last year, our dorm building only had community bathrooms, so I was completely unaware of her bathroom habits as we did not share this space. Fast forward to the current school year, we now have our own apartment where the two of us share a bathroom. After about a week and a half of living together, I started to notice a foul odor coming from our bathroom. I spent hours scrubbing the shower, sink, toilet, floor, and counters, but the smell did not go away. I convinced myself that it must have been the sink releasing some trapped gas from the pipes or something. I submitted a work order to have the drain looked at and called it a day. Another week goes by and the smell is almost unbearable. Maintenance still hasn't come, so I opened the cupboard underneath the sink to try and have a look for myself. When I open the door, my nose is violated by an odor one can only describe as a porta potty that has been sitting in full sun on the hottest day in July. I now realize where the stench is coming from as my eyes fall onto the trash can underneath the sink that is completely overflown with brown and yellow stained toilet paper. I walk directly over to my roommate's bedroom and confront her about this. I ask why she has been throwing her used toilet paper into our trash can rather than flushing it down the toilet. She tells me that it is Mexican culture and I wouldn't understand. I have never heard of this in my life so I continue to question her about it. She tells me that everyone in Mexico throws their used toilet paper in the trash because the septic systems there aren't designed to withstand toilet paper being flushed down them. I believe myself to be a very understanding person but this is just completely bizarre to me because my roommate has lived in the USA her entire life and has never even been to Mexico. I asked her if she wouldn't mind flushing her toilet paper in our apartment due to the horrific stench that had built up over the first few weeks. She tells me that this is a part of her culture and she doesn't appreciate the fact that I am not respecting it. She has been acting extremely standoffish and rude towards me since our conversation and I don't know what to do. Am I the asshole for asking her to flush her toilet paper? Lol she is no longer in Mexico she can flush the toilet paper please. Not the asshole. In places where they have to throw away toilet paper, they actually throw it away. Hiding used toilet paper is some seriously messed up shit she's doing. This is either a power play or something more disturbing. I'd be breaking that lease ASAP. Not the asshole first off you guys have the proper septic systems in the US. So I bet if all those people lived in the US, wouldn't they gladly flush? She's acting like it's day of the dead and you destroyed all the candles on her a friend to get out of here with that nonsense. She's just upset you're rightfully grossed out by a gross habit that her family household got her used to due to their foreign household getting them used to it due to the septic system. If she's still weirded out by it then I would leave the trash in her car and if she gets mad, say your culture brings trash to the dump since nobody leaves shit stained napkins in trash cans just radiating in the air. Is this post real? Not the asshole I lived in Mexico for a while, as a North American, and was surprised to learn about their toilet paper habits. However, people empty their garbage regularly down there, and it never got to the point of smelling in any bathroom that I was in during my many years in the country. It's understandable that she wouldn't want to change her toilet paper habits, but she has to understand that stinking up your bathroom with many days worth of used toilet paper is not acceptable. She needs to agree to take the garbage out at least once a day if she's going to throw her toilet paper in there. Not the asshole. This isn't just about culture. This could get you or someone else sick. She has no business forcing that on anybody. Report her for this. Seriously. Am I the asshole for telling my sister that I don't care that my dad changed his mind? I'm 18 NB. 
My sister is 27 female, and my dad is in his 50s. I'm also a parent to twin 18 malleanth olds which is relevant to this story. During the majority of this story my sister was living her own life in another state. She and I talk about once a month. I got pregnant beginning of junior year and when my parents found out they made it clear that abortion and adoption were not options and also that I was now scum of the earth. My mom completely stopped talking to me. She would leave the room. My dad didn't stop talking to me but he refused spending time with me at all costs. I got a job because they stopped giving me anything except shelter. I took a bus to the hospital when I was in labor at 27 weeks because they refused to take me and I can't afford the ambulance. In all the weeks that my twins were in the NICU they didn't ask about them or help. When they got out I got yelled at if they disturbed their sleep. I got yelled at if a pacifier dared to be in the main area. Life kept on. Thankfully my friend's mom was willing to watch them while I was at school and work. That was a lifesaver. On my 18th birthday my parents came to my room and kicked me out. Dad's specific words were, get your sinning whore ass and those bastard brats out of my damn house by the end of the day. Thankfully my friend's mom came to the rescue again. This morning I got a call from her saying that dad had a minor heart attack and has now said that he regrets kicking me out and not being a part of his grandchildren's life. I told her that he made his choice and can now deal with it. Not the asshole, but you could use all the help you can get. I would talk to your friend's mom. She's currently supporting you and would make a good confidant about regarding this. Has she made any indications that this arrangement is temporary? At the end of the day, it is your choice. Not the asshole he treated you and your children like crap for around a little over a year. That's not something he can just take back. Not the asshole. He would not be coming back or caring if he didn't have the heart attack. He only cares because he thought he was gonna die. Lots of good advice here. Best in hugs to you and your twins. Not the asshole. But did want to respond how ironic that your parents didn't care when were born early and yet now they have their own health scare. Dot you babies come first so proceed with caution. Not the asshole. Like you said he made his choice to push you of their lives, now he can deal with the consequences. I'd also consider cutting your sister, aunt and uncle out your life too. Your sister knows your parents cut you out of their lives, not the other way around. I'm assuming your aunt and uncle are aware of this as well, so for the three of them to somehow shift the blame to you is ridiculous. How can you take away something they didn't want to begin with? Not the asshole. Hugs, 